Hi, this is Katie from Mattress Clarity, and today I'm going to review the Evolution Pillow Travel Pillow from Kebo. So I want to tell you a little bit about the pillow and some of the key features. It's got this nice, soft, um, removable cover, so you can pull it off and machine wash and dry it, which is great. Inside you'll find a memory foam pillow, which is really firm and nice. Um, you put it on like this, and you'll see it works just like a traditional neck pillow, except it's got these two ends, and you can connect these with this little connector right here, you'll hear it click and tighten it. So it's customizable, you can really decide how tight you want it around your neck, which is great. Another feature that it has <laughs> is it's got this media holder right on the side where you can put your media player so you can listen to music. Um, what I do like about it is that it's got this ergonomic design, which is great. They're really thinking about how it's going to work on your face and it's got this flat back position back here so when you do lean back on a train or a plane or a car it's not pushing your head forward you actually have a, the ability to kind of rest your head back so it's time to go over some pros and cons of the pillow you can start with the pros um i really think that there a lot of thought and consideration went into the design of this pillow you can see that there's these raised supports on the side it's got this dip in the back it's nice in that sense. Um, there is a removable cover, so you can take it off and wash it. Don't worry about germs. See the memory foam inside. Another feature that I really like are these adjustable toggles at the end. So you put it on, and again, as I showed you before, you just snap it together like this. And then you can adjust how tight you want it around your neck, which is nice if you're going to sleep like this or like that. You know. That's handy, um, and something different that I haven't seen before. Something else that I thought was great is this flat back design back here. So say you are in a middle seat or you do sleep on your back, this part allows your head to lean back a little bit while having the neck pillow on. It's not pushing your head forward as you would find in other pillows. Uh, because this connects, you can also do a 360 sort of change in, in where you want the pillow to be. So if your head falls forward and you don't like that, you can go ahead and just use it like this and let your head fall forward. So I think they did take a lot of thought into the design of this. Um, cons, unfortunately for me, it, it feels too big. When I put it on like this, it's touching my ears, it's up on the side of my face, it looks bigger on me than I think it did on, on the person in the product and the other pictures I've seen. So I don't know if it's my neck length. I'm five feet, seven inches tall. I'm not a petite person, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, and one of the main issues with the fact that I think it's too big for me is the fact that when I put my headphones on, sure, it's great right now, and I'll connect this just to show you what it's like, but my headphones don't really fit. So like this, it's fine, but if I go to head, lay my head to the side or just any sort of side thing the pillow is pushing right in my ears which makes it an uncomfortable experience I just kind of want to like push it down and then go like that but you know it's memory foam so it rises back up so that's a con for me the other con unfortunately is that it has this cool media player which is awesome in theory but when I put my phone with the case in here it doesn't fit very well it's a struggle to get it in here I think it's designed maybe without a phone cover in mind this is a iPhone 6 um, so you kind of have to push it and that's it with the case. If I take the case off, you'll see that it slides oops, a lot more smoothly in. So if I take the case off, you can just slide it in. And that's a lot nicer. Unfortunately, I drop my phone all the time. I have an infant who takes my phone and drops it all the time. I can't really afford to take it out of its case just to put in the media holder, which makes this holder a little bit of a moot point for me. So that's one of the cons. And I think the $40 price tag is a little steep. It's a nice pillow, um, but I'm a side sleeper and I think you know the sizing is an issue for me, so I'm not sure I could recommend it based on all of those cons. One last con which I wanted to mention is that although this cover is removable, 
Um, I had read in previous reviews that the fabric did bleed, so I went ahead and washed it by itself, but with a color-catching dye trapping sheet, and sure enough, the sheet came out a little bit pink, which means that the fabric did bleed. So if you're going to get this in black or some other darker color, make sure you wash it by itself before you use it so the dye doesn't transfer. Okay, so now I want to show you the two different ways to compress this pillow and to make it smaller. On the website, they say you can get it down to a quarter of its size. They do have instructions on the website as well, and there's two different ways to do this, essentially a beginner way and an expert way, so I want to go through both. So we'll start with the beginner way. And the beginner way basically is just putting half of the pillow into this traveling case that it comes with. And then really it's just literally stuffing the second half into the bag and using this side string to pull and same little toggle as in the pillow to close. So you can sort of push and pull and close it like this. And then the second way, I'll take the pillow back out so I can show you. The second way is more of an expert version. It's called the cinnamon roll style. So you're gonna take one end, start pressing down, and just roll the pillow into itself. You can see like this. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get it nice and tight. And then put it back in the bag. And then you'll notice the bag has these Velcro sides. So you'll go ahead and Velcro the bag shut as tight as you can using these. And then you'll also pull this top knot again, like the first one, and close it. So you can see that the pillow is much smaller this way, which is nice if you want to throw it in your carry-on and you don't want to have to lug it outside of your suitcase. So I think this is definitely a nice option. Um, it does take some upper arm strength. I'm not like, you know super built and it was a little bit of work but definitely worth it and the memory foam um, I'll show you is so nice because when you open it back up it comes right back to its shape you don't have to worry about inflating anything it's nice there you go so overall I think this pillow has great intentions it's well designed with the way it is the filling the memory foam is really nice the customizable tightness around the neck with these nozzles is great um, and then the removable cover and washable fabric is great as well for me it's just a little bit too big again when I mentioned I put it on it's hitting my ears it's hitting my my cheekbones it's just a little too much um, my neck is not comfortable I wasn't able to rest and my earplugs didn't stay in also the dye on the fabric bled a little bit which you know happens to a lot of different fabrics but I think it's something definitely that you should know it is $40 which I think is a pretty big investment for a travel pillow so I think people who would benefit from this most are individuals who tend to sleep on their back who maybe own a memory foam mattress or a pillow already and are familiar with the fabric and that level of firmness or people who really want some strong stabilization around their neck so when they fall asleep you know they know their neck isn't going to fall to the side very much so that's it. Um, definitely check out mattressclarity.com for my more in-depth written um, review and let me know what you think. Thanks.